Even if you've been gardening for just one season, you already know it doesn't take long for things to take off in the garden once spring arrives. And Mother Nature does not wait on our timetable. But to make your time in the garden a lot more efficient and a little easier, I have seven items in my must-have toolkit that I think you're really gonna like, and that's what I wanna talk about in this video. The first tools I grab whenever I'm heading to the yard or garden are all nicely packaged together. What makes this sheath unique is that it conveniently holds both tools I use the most. It was made for just that purpose. Those tools are my trusty pruners and my soil knife. Let's talk about the pruners first. There is rarely a time when I'm out in my garden or landscape when I'm not trimming something, cutting out a stray branch, or taming an overly aggressive limb. Without pruners by my side, it's not likely I'd stop what I'm doing to go grab them. Translated, that means it would probably never get done, especially if I have to go track them down. But when it's by my side and in my hand in no time, pruners are gardener's best friend. The other tool is the soil knife. It's my Swiss Army knife of the garden. For digging quick holes for transplanting, this is all I need. Plus, getting the depth of the planting right for seeds and proper spacing between rows and plants, there's a handy ruler on the stainless steel blade. For digging out stubborn taprooted weeds, this is it. And even for cutting twine or wire, that's here too. Next is a great pair of gloves, like these Atlas Nitro gloves. They're not those thick, clunky kind that you have no feeling with, but these fit like a surgeon's glove. They're lightweight, they provide a little bit of protection, they're comfortable, they're breathable, but the best part is you can still feel what you're doing. And here's the bonus, you don't have to take gloves off to use your phone. They come in lots of different colors and sizes, so there's a pair for every size hand. And then one added bonus is that when you get them really dirty and you wanna clean them up, you can just throw them into the washer and the dryer and they come out looking like new. Plus they're very inexpensive, so I really love having these gloves. Next up is another tool for weeding because let's face it, weeds are a fact of life and there's no getting around it, but you can get through it, at least with the surface rooted weeds, with my tool of choice, and this is called a winged weeder. Some people call it a scuffle hoe, call it what you want, but this almost makes weeding fun and there are three aspects to this tool that make it work so well. So let me tell you about those. The magic is in the sharp stainless steel cutting surfaces on all four sides. So it cuts on the push and the pull. Add to that the longer than average shaft and the pistol grip handle for maximum leverage and power. The blade slides along the surface as you push and pull and severs surface rooted weeds from their roots in a single pass. And another tool, these Gorilla Tubs. They are indispensable in my garden and dare I say I use them for almost everything from weeding, mulching, mixing liquid fertilizer and watering plants in my greenhouse and so much more. And besides their versatility, I just love how strong and flexible they are. Plus they come in lots of different sizes and colors. They're fade and UV resistant. Plus they're affordable and they just keep on going. And seventh on my list of must have items for my toolbox is a watering wand. And a bonus here is with a built in manual shut off built into the wand itself. So you don't have any extra dripping. But the beauty of a watering wand is that you can deliver the water right where it's needed, basically at the soil surface without getting it on top of the foliage so you don't have to overhead water. That's very important for disease control. And then secondly, you can put the water exactly where you need it. So even if you were in a tight space in between rows, keeping that foliage dry is extra important and this watering wand can get right down in there. And then the bonus, of course, you don't have to bend over to do your watering. That's nice too. Here's the bottom line for all the tools in my must-have kit and shed, and that is quality counts, you get what you pay for, and if you'll just spend a little more up front and take care of it, chances are you'll never have to replace it again. And that rule has never let me down, and I doubt that it ever will. But I hope these examples gave you some good ideas for your must-have toolkit, and I hope that you have a great gardening season.